hello guys you can see here this is my sony xperia mobile okay you can see here this is the model number okay this one you can see here also properly you can see here this is my sony it's an xperia mobile okay and when i just turn on this mobile okay i can see the black screen okay when i turn on this mobile i just see the black screen you can see here no light okay just slight black screen okay you can see here just slight black screen over here there is no light so in order to fix this this is a software issue okay in order to fix this you can see a button over here okay just press this button for two to three minutes at first you need to just remove this battery okay and once you remove this battery just you can see the button over here just press this button for at least one minute two minutes or three minutes okay maximum three minutes press it one minute if it doesn't work press two minutes if it doesn't work try for the three minutes okay check the watch and just uh, press this button for at least three minutes and once you do this just uh, put your battery again this is a battery okay just need to put this battery again and on this mobile okay on this mobile okay i can see the vibration okay i guess and you can see here this is a blank screen okay this is a blank screen and no display it okay so this is the one way how you fix this problem another way this is a really software issue okay and in order to fix this just connect this usb cable okay and connect this usb cable to a system i'm connecting this usb cable to my system okay i've connected it and uh, let me check in my system now i'll go to the my computer okay is my computer my pc okay i'll open it and i'll check whether if it is detecting this xperia mobile or not not detected okay so there must be my usb problem okay so what i'll do is just uh, press a little bit okay you can just press a little bit over here it's okay and just reconnect it open it and reconnect it and now i can see here my device is being installed okay here it is okay you can see here installing device okay so my sony xperia is about to work right now okay i can go to this pc and i can see my so next video over here i guess no it not appeared over here so what i need to do is just cross it and i can see over here you can see here so next video companion okay and uh, my device is still setting up okay just wait for a while and you can see here sony xperia okay sony xperia yes, yes. okay so my device is detected now and you can see here i can this open this folder for the sony xperia and you can see here xperia yes it's a sony xperia yes there's a folder is empty now i go to this pc and scroll it down and you can see here my this is a sony xperia yes so it is detected and nothing is over here the folder is empty now in order to fix this software issue you can what you can do is just download this xperia companion okay go to the uh, internet browser open this xperia companion and just install this software download the latest version of this xperia companion it will be available on internet latest version of xperia companion and just install it in your pc and you need uh, windows 7 or later version uh, either windows 7 8 or 10 in order to install this xperia companion and what you need to do the next is once you have just done it and you can see here software repair okay just click on that software repair and it will ask you to connect and you can just select a device okay xperia phone or tablet a smartwatch okay or xperia tm torch okay so this is my xperia phone so i'm going to select this and you can see here xperia software repair Okay, now what you need to do is you can see the next over here click on next 
okay on the click on next you can see a xperia software repair okay and it will ask you for permission you can click on yes okay this is the important information please make sure that you know this google account username and password proceed fail work okay so this is for some security purpose okay and let's click on next and you can see here it is initializing okay so it will just take some time and very soon it will just repair your software and it will just reinstall in your device